Welcome everyone, I'm Simeon Reyes and I am going to be showing us how to cut the pointy pointed sleeve. I call it um, Gaga sleeve, you know that's that Lady Gaga sleeve, when you see Lady Gaga, you see how it's those um, pointed, um, exaggerated sleeve. Now, one of it is what I'll be explaining and I can go ahead to explain different types as well. Now, the first thing to do is to fold our pattern. And here I use the hopper ham. That's the hopper ham here, divided by two. My hopper ham is 11 inches. Divided by two is 5.5 .5 inches. And to fold, we need to add extra two inches. That's what, 7.5 inches. That's, to be, um, that's what we use to fold our basic sleeve. Now, because of this particular sleeve, we will add extra one inch so instead of folding 7.5 inches i folded 8.5 inches so here's my 8.5 inches the length i'm working with is 21 i added one inch to make it 22 inches starting from this point but i still have extra two and a half inches at the top i'm going to explain why we need this at the top now to go with the basic um sleeve first i need to take four inches in order to carve out our arm size and here from the base remember we added extra one inch so there's need to mark out the one inch okay now from this one inch is where i'll be put, i'll be drafting out my sleeve and here at the wrist, I have the measurement of eight inches divided by two is four. And I had my seam allowance half an inch, that's 4.5. Now at um, below the elbow, you can get the distance if you want. Just measure the distance between the wrist and below your elbow to get this point. The measurement is 10 divided by two is five. And that's 5.5. I told us that. All our measurements will start from this line. Then for the upper ham is 11 inches, divided by two is 5.5 inches. 5.5 inches and this extra half inch. Now I'm going to connect from this four inches that we took, like this, like this, then to the base. Now to carve out this, we need to get the midpoint. This is 8.5 inches. So the midpoint is 4.25. Now carving it out, you can use your um, ammo curve if you have one. And if you don't, this is a quick um, guide. So you make sure that coming down must be at that point. That's the middle point. That's where you come down in order to connect to your four inches. It is as simple as this. Now what I have here is a basic sleeve, a basic long sleeve moving to the gaga sleeve or the pointy pointed well there are several of it but um starting from the sleeve simplest what i am going to do is this curve part will not be needed this part then i am going to start from this very end just like this So this is what I have, and that's what I'll be cutting out. I can now decide to go up like this, or like this, or like this. That will depend on how pointed and then where I want my point to face. If I want it pointing upward, then I'll go up the more. Then, if I want it just straight, that's straight, I can, you know, this is our sleeve. These are sleeve measurements. And I can come down a bit by half an inch or even two point by two, um, by 0 0.25 or this is 0 0.5, just like this. So if I'm going to cut, I'll be cutting like this, then the ham O continues. Also, our one um, one inch line that we took 
coming up, I am going to slant to this very edge, just like this. And I'll be holding a dart. We can see from this edge. Now we can see that this has increased. So it goes like this, then to, this is how we are just um, like a dart or something, like as if you, you want to hold a dart. Then another thing is if you want your sleeve, this is one. And if you don't want to have this joining on the sleeve, that means you will be folding the pattern and all your measurements, that means your measurements will be starting on this line. So you can go with your Gaga sleeve just like that, you know, however you want to, you want it to go. You can take it off as well if you want to. That is, if you do not want any joining on this part, then there won't be need for this extra one inch. But if you still want to maintain that dart, because the dart is going to help the upper part to shoot out the more. It's going to pop and um, point out. It will be a little, a little, um, a little more here. You have more fabric, like a, a bit of excess here at the upper part. But if you want to maintain your your basic sleeve and you still want it to point out, you can you can still do that. And there will be difference, definitely. There will be difference the, um, between your basic sleeve and adding this extra one inch. And as well, it is not limited to just one inch. You can still increase it to two inches. If you want, you can increase it to three inches. The effect is just going to be at this upper part, the upper part of your sleeve. It's not going to affect this because this is going to be your measurement. Even if it is three inches you are adding, you still, you're still going to take your measurement from that three inches to your basic um, sleeve. But here at the top, because you're going to slant to meet that three inches, now that excess will take effect at this upper part. Now that is one um, pointy sleeve. Let's move to another one. Now, moving to the second um, point, pointed um, or puffy sleeve. Now, for this particular one, my basic sleeve has been folded, which is the upper arm divided by two plus two inches for folding. And then I added extra 3.5 inches to my folding so that all together now I have 11 inches. The sleeve here, the sleeve length has been reduced. This is 17.5, but I have extra 6.5 inches at the top. Let us um, concentrate on the basic sleeve first. Like I explained earlier, the extra 3.5 inches that was added, I have drilled it out here so that my basic um, sleeve measurements, that's the round sleeve, will start from this point, and I have done that. Here is my four inches, and I am going to connect like this. Please, in case you have your ruler, you have your curve, you can use that if you don't know how to go about this. Then carving out the size just like this, and oh wow. This is looking so simple. Yes, it is. It's as easy as this. All right. From here, we are going to continue. Now, instead of having to cut from here, I'll go up. This now depends on how puffy or the number of pleats you want to have on your sleeve. Okay? It means I am going to take this in order to come. Sorry. I need to get the midpoint. And that is 4.25. Now, coming from this point, it's going and connecting. Ring. Okay. So this is my puff. And then the rule that we, we have here comes in, which means at the top here, I can bring it straight like this. I can still go down depending on how I want to. 
and if you still want yours to point uh, like to go up that means you need extra fabric so that you can mark it here just to face facing the top okay so this has been done it means we are cutting like this and like this now to connect at this point definitely this is coming it's coming like this all right so here is it and i am canceling this let's cut this out to see how it looks okay so we are also going to cut like this i'm going to place it on on my fabric to cut it out so let us cut out the first one as well to see how it is I'll be using the side alone because of my pattern. Now we have cut both the first and the second pattern. Now we're going to be joining this part fold the base and also bring out the round sleeve same as this we're going to join this part fold the base and also bring out the round sleeve on those points then from there i'll come and show you how to continue i'll be attaching this to a dress um a ready-made dress i have the tutorial as well and the link is on the description so when you watch this remember to watch the dress as well to have a full tutorial of the complete dress it's um it's a shoulder padded blouse more like an office and a turtleneck you love it okay so i have joined my sleeve like i said and here is the basic sleeve after joining this is what it looks like and the next thing to do from the inside is to join this top which i have done here i've joined so i am going to open it up so we can see how it is now we can see the top we can see how it is on this point this is the part where i'll be joining to the ham oil of my dress and the dress we already made that in our last class if you are um if you missed that you watch the tutorial of the dress that's the link on the description so watch the tutorial so we can you can follow us as well i'm going to attach this to my dress which we made in our last class in order to see the finished um dress and for our second sleeve the mannequin is going to help us I have also joined the top here. I've joined it and I'll be fixing this on the mannequin for us to see the end products of this. Okay, let's do that now. Okay, so this is our sleeve and we can see a ham hole. Now, we want this ham hole don't forget it's still coming as much as towards this point which means you are going to be pleating all this now your pleats depends on what you want let me just hold this down all 
All right. Now, pleating this, I can decide to have um, a box pleat. Here is a box pleat. And the number of pleats as well, like I told us um, in the tutorial that you can add, you can add as much as you want on the fabric. So here is a, my box pleat. That's one. Here is another box pleat. Now we're going to be maintaining this all the way to the back. The same type of pleats we have here is what we'll be holding at the back as well. Okay, so the same way you have um, the same way you have brought out your box pleat, and if you like, you can go with piece pleat, you can go with any type of pleat. If you want it um, in gathers form, you can go ahead and gather the fabric. So you have to follow it to the other side so you can get the accurate shape. And if need be, you can as well fold it down, just tack it. You stitch it down in order to maintain that pleat that you have. And this is the hand. Do you know if I'm going to be making this type of sleeve, I am going to add a bit of um, um, rose, a flower rose, just the small ones to add beauty to whatever dress I'll be making. And I'll think of something, or if you have a style in mind, you can just drop it in the comment section so we can make the sleeve and attach it to that dress that you want us to do. And this is going to be the end of our tutorial today. Have you subscribed? If not, click the subscribe button. Hit the bell as well so you can receive notification for my new videos, which I upload every week. Till I see you next class, I still remain Simeon Grace. Bye.